Hello, welcome to JohnB.rd, the research desk. Today we're going to be talking about the 12 key Amazon affiliate requirements. If you have any form of online presence, you can monetize it with the Amazon Associates program. In fact, many bloggers and website owners do just that. Thanks for Amazon's great conversion rates, it's easy to see why. However, if you violate any of Amazon's affiliate rules or requirements, you are likely to get expelled and lose all of unpaid commissions. It is tough to get Amazon to reinstate your account after it's banned. After it's banned you for violating its terms of service. As such, you should comply proactively and avoid the inconvenience of pleading to get back your account. Yet many people find it difficult to read through their program policies and operating agreement. If you are one of those people, do not dis despair. We put together a list of, <clears throat> excuse me. We put together a list of 10 important things you must pay attention to in order to comply with Amazon's affiliate rules and requirements to keep your account in good standing. After all, nobody wants to lose their hard-earned commissions. So one, let your readers know that you are an associate. Two, do not use link shorteners to hide links. Three, do not put links in PDFs, eBooks, emails, or private groups. Four, do not solicit clicks on links. Five, you cannot purchase from your link. Six, have a comprehensive privacy policy. Seven, learn how to use Amazon brands correctly. Eight, understand Amazon product image guidelines. Nine, understand pricing display guidelines. 10, you've got six months to make your first sale. 11, do not promote products offensive to children. 12, no cookie manipulation. So one, let your readers know that you're an associate. Affiliate disclaimer and disclosure for Amazon associates are essential under both FPC requirements from Amazon Associates legal obligations. A disclaimer limits your legal responsibility concerning the use of the products you promote on your website. With disclosure, you provide information that informs your audience you receive compensation as an affiliate. Amazon strictly requires you to identify yourself as an affiliate. To help you comply with this directive, Amazon provided the following text in its operating agreement that you can copy and paste to your platform. Insert site name is a participant in Amazon Service LLC Association Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to insert applicable site name. In the applicable site name, you put a site name of the Amazon store you promote. You promote any of the Amazon Worldwide stores. Be sure to include the proper domain names as either Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.it or Amazon.ede in either Amazon stores worldwide. At first, it was enough to put the disclosure notice at your website's footer or in the About Us or info pages. These days, it's better to put it at the top of the article or page where you have affiliate links. You may fear such disclosures could put off your audience if, for instance, they sense you earn from your content. However, as long as your content delivers value, very few mind about whether you make money off of their purchases and many more are willing to support you to earn from your efforts. Let your readers know that you are an affiliate. Use plain language, mention that you get compensation for putting up the affiliate link. I may earn a small commission for my endorsement, recommendation, testimonial, or link to any products or services from this website. 
place an expanded version of the disclaimer at the bottom of the site or within your other legal pages is also a splendid idea to ensure you cover all other aspects and not just the affiliate part. Expert tip, take the hassle of writing your own disclaimer away with our disclaimer generator. It will save you hours of work and possibly costly legal mistakes. Two, do not use link shorteners to hide links. The association's program participation requirement section 6B and W prohibit link shortening tools to cloak that you're linking to an Amazon site. You will not cloak, spoof, or otherwise obscure the URL of the site containing special links, including by using of the directing, redirecting links or user greet agent of the application in which programs content is displayed or used such that we cannot reasonably determine the site or application from which a customer clicks through such special link to an Amazon site. W. You will not use a link sorting service button, hyperlink, or other ad placement in a manner that makes it unclear that you are linking to an Amazon site. Don't try to hide or disguise Amazon affiliate links as something else and always use unmasked URLs. Three, do not put links in PDFs, eBooks, emails, or private groups. Your content should draw people to your platform instead of chasing people around with your affiliate links. Amazon requires you to put links on your website, YouTube channel, or a public Facebook page. But you cannot share your affiliate links to a private Facebook group, for instance, and to get around this requirement, it is okay if you put the link in on a Facebook page or a website page, then share the page to a private Facebook group. Also, when you are logged in to your associate account, you will have access to Amazon's site strip, site stripe. The site stripe toolbar appears at the top of the Amazon pages you visit when logged in to the Amazon account that you use to create the associate account. Creating an affiliate link to any product or page by clicking on the Get Link Text button on the site stripe. After that, you can add products to your Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the social media icons and the site stripe, which is acceptable. Six and four, under the promotional requirements, Amazon also prohibits putting an affiliate link as an attachment to email, offline content, such as printed materials, books, mailing, etc. For promotional limitations, you will not engage in any promotional marketing or other advertising activities on behalf of us or our affiliates or any connection to an Amazon site or the associates program that are not expressly permitted under the agreement. You will not engage in any promotional marketing or other advertising activities in any offline manner, including by using any of our or our affiliate trademarks or logos, including any Amazon mark, any program content, or any special link in connection with email, offline promotion, or in any offline manner, in any printed material, ebook, mailing, or attachment to email, or other document, or any oral solicitation. You may be used to using ebooks as lead magnets to collect use your emails. However, you cannot put affiliate links in an ebook, but you can put a link to a website post with an affiliate tag. Four, do not solicit clicks on links. Section five of the operating agreement explains how you ought to identify yourself as an associate. Five, identifying yourself as an associate. You must clearly state the following or any substantially similar statement previously allowed under the agreement on your site or any other location where the Amazon may authorize your display or other use of program content. 
As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases, except for those disclosure. You will not make any public communication with your respect to this agreement or your participation in the associate program without or advance written permission. You will not misrepresent or embellish our relationship with you, including by expressing or implying that we support, sponsor, or endorse you, or express or imply any affiliation between us and you or any other person or entity, except as expressly permitted by this agreement. Amazon prohibits you from asking people to click on links by stating that they are supporting your hustle or your family. Instead, use the standard disclosures statement provided by Amazon. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Five, you cannot purchase from your link. If you make a sale from your affiliate links, that is not a qualified purchase. Therefore, Amazon will not pay for it. As simple as that. Six, have a comprehensive privacy policy. Another ethical requirement you need to be aware of is that the privacy policy. As an affiliate, Amazon requires you to have a comprehensive privacy policy displayed on your website and blogs. It should state that you and your website guarantee to follow all applicable privacy related laws. Section 3, Part E of the Associate Program Policy states, Disclosing on your site accurately and adequately, either through a privacy policy or otherwise, how you collect, use, store, or disclose data collected by visitors, including where applicable that third parties, including us and other advised advertisers, may serve content and advertisements, collect information directly from visitors, and place or recognize cookies on visitors' browsers, and providing information on the visitors' choices with respect to opting out from online advertising where required by applicable law and associates have to place their privacy policy at an evident and not noticeable section of their platform. Usually, an acceptable and widespread place is at your site's footer that links of your legal pages. The privacy notice should include details about what sort of information is being collected how is how it is collected, who this information will be shared with, where it will be used, and how you will protect the user's sensitive data. Although you do not intentionally collect personal data from users, for example, through the sign-up form, personal information is still being collected in the background through cookies. Cookies can retain IP addresses, demographics, and other personal details of users. And if you use any third-party affiliate or advertising services, you may, you most definitely collect personal information from your users, which is passed on to those companies. Expert tip, take the hassle of writing your own privacy policy away with our privacy policy generator, and it will save hours of work and possible costly legal mistakes. Seven, learn how to use Amazon's brand collectively. You cannot design your website to match the Amazon website, nor use the colors or logo as an extension of your brand. According to Section 4 and Amazon Trademark Guidelines, you cannot use any of the Amazon brand identifiers except for the ones given to you for use. According to Section 4, and Amazon, yeah, I'm sorry, I read that one already. We will supply an image or images of Amazon marks for you to use. You may not alter any Amazon marks in any manner. For example, you cannot change the proportion, color, or font of any Amazon mark, or add or remove any elements from any Amazon mark. You can only use the marks and logos provided to you by Amazon. You may not alter or customize in terms of color, portion, font, add or remove any aspects of the Amazon trademark. Eight, understand Amazon products image guidelines. You're allowed to use product images lifted from Amazon using an API. You cannot host a product image on your site that it is. You shouldn't download an image on, on your computer, then upload it to a website. 
You can use other images to illustrate the item you are promoting. You can use your images or images from a manufacturer. However, the limitation with this approach is that you cannot hyperlink such images with your affiliate tag. You can only put the Amazon affiliate tag with images sourced directly from the Amazon store using the API. The Amazon Resource Center provides suggestions for other sources of images. Respect copyright. Each image that you find online is protected by the owner's copyright and you need agreement from the owner in to use an image. Failure to observe this can have serious legal implications and may result in warnings, fines, and other legal action being issued for unauthorized use of images. Before you publish any image on your blog, it's important to respect copyright and pay close attention to how the image may be used, if it can be used at all. Below is a list of common sources or options for finding images sources online. Your own pictures. You have the option to take new or use existing photos from your library, which is the safest and most cost-effective solution. This can be used on your website without concern since it is your own created images. DIY graphics. You can use graphic elements you've designed yourself, but as with pic photos, you should ensure any graphic elements you've used aren't subject to copyright. Screenshots. Normal screenshots are permitted for the purpose of illustrating a walkthrough or other instructional material. However, no person or artistic work should be clearly visible, such as from another website or source. Stock photos. If you do not have images of your own, then you can purchase stock images from professional photo agencies online. Price can vary depending on the type of amount you are seeking. These type of sources provide explicit detail on what disclosures are needed if you use their images to ensure that you are adhering closely to them. Manufacturing photos. On certain products, manufacturers may provide images for you to use, and there is typically no problem using this on your site and disclosing the source. However, to foster a professional relationship, it's always preferable to send an email to the marketing department of the company in question requesting permission for the use of their product imagery. Google Image Search. Under no circumstances should you simply copy images from Google's image search and use on your own website. Other blogs and websites, you may be able to track down the images you want to use from other blogs and websites. So simply seek permission from the website operator. Social media and photo sharing websites. Images you find on social media or photo sharing sites such as QuickR, Instagram, or Pinterest are, are not, should not be considered as fair game to use on your site. Find out precisely what kind of license and images were published under this and stick to it. Or reach out to the source to give the appropriate credit. Almost always some type of disclosure will be required. Free image databases. There are several online databases with images that you are able to use freely, such as Creative Common Licenses Imagery. These sources offer a cost-effective solution for bloggers, but be sure to read through the terms and conditions of reuse for any imagery you find there and disclose appropriately. 9. Understand Pricing Display Guidelines. The general rule concerning pricing display is that you are not allowed to display pricing information for Amazon products and through your affiliate link. Direct your audience to the Amazon store. The exception to the rule is that you can provide links with your affiliate tag only if you use the Amazon API to access the current prices directly. Amazon prices change consistently and without an API, it would be impossible to keep track of the changing prices. Section 2B of the participation requirements provided. Product prices and availability may vary from time to time because prices for an available availability of products that you have listed 
on your site may change. Your site may only show prices and availability if A, we served a link in which that the price and availability data are disclosed, or B, you obtain the product pricing and availability data via PA or API, and you comply with the requirements regarding using the PA or API in the license. In addition, if you choose to display prices <clears throat> for any product of your site in any comparison format, including through the use of any price comparison tool or engine, together with prices for the same or similar products offered through any website or other means other than an Amazon site, you must display both the lowest new price and, if we provide it to you, the lowest used price at which the product is available on Amazon site. 10. You've got six months to make your first sale. If in 180 days you have not had a single successful referral from your site to the Amazon, your, app your application to join the associate program will be rejected. Amazon will encourage you to reapply only if you have gained considerable traffic to your platform. Amazon reviews and approaches your application after you've made your first sale. Until then, your account will still be pending approval. So in six months, if you haven't made your first sale, your account will be deactivated. 11. Do not promote products offensive to children. Do not apply strategies that promote products to children under the age of 13. Also, do not promote obscene, violent, sexually explicit, discriminatory, or fake material on your website as an affiliate. 12. No cookie manipulation. Do not use cookie manipulation software such as automatic cookie installs. Amazon will provide you with their cookies, which stores the relevant information to track customers flow from your website to the Amazon stores. Amazon pro affiliate programs are great for small businesses and bloggers and can help you generate more revenue for your websites, even to become your primary income source. Undertake a, a thorough evaluation of your website's content. Bring it in line with Amazon's legal requirements. Protect your users' privacy and put up a noticeable disclaimer. Compliance will help you avoid legal violations and ensure a long-term relationship with Amazon and offer affiliate programs and services. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please be sure to give a like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.